guys, DK with Corbin's Archery here in Lubbock. Today, speed test between the Hoyt VTM 34 and the Matthews Phase 4 33. We're gonna be running these both at 28 and a half inch draw, same arrow, 452 grains. Um, I'm gonna check the draw weight, make sure we're, we're really, really close, if not spot on with both, and get you a physical weight, and then get you a speed and compare the two. 69 and a half, that's close enough. Um, see what the physical weight's coming out to without the arrow. It's gonna be a little bit different because of the different rest site stabilizer, but just to give y'all kind of a outlook here on what this bow weighs. I'm getting 6.1 pounds, and that's with a whisker biscuit, the little stabilizer that Hoyt's come with, dampeners obviously, and a black gold ascent verdict sight. All so, right, first arrow, 28 and a half inch draw, 452 grains. Um, right at 69.6 pounds so right there close to 70 let's see what speed we're getting get the lab radar fired up here now we're ready two seventy seven that's cooking um, let's get another one in it just to get a get a duplicate maybe 277 that's that's moving pretty good two seventy eight two seventy seven two seventy eight out of a four hundred and fifty two grain arrow um, twenty eight and a half inch draw just barely like half a pound shy of 70 so really good feeling bow really dead draw cycles a little stiff at the front but breaks over really really nice um out of the 31 and the 34 the, the vtms 34 is way better in my opinion just love that longer axle axle um good speed off of it too now let's shoot the phase four matthews and see what we got all right phase four 33 get you the draw weight here see how close they are 69.4, the other one was at 65, 69.5, I think. So 0.1, not gonna make a difference. That's close enough. Now let's get a physical weight. Again, this one has a different rest, obviously a longer bar stabilizer. So keep that in mind. This isn't a real comparison, just kind of giving you guys some numbers. Let's see what the physical weight of a fully decked out Matthews is. 6.2 pounds. pretty good with a fully loaded out bow. So let's get the speed on it. All right, 28 and a half inches, 69.4 pounds. The Hoyt is at 69.5. Um, Hoyt was getting 277, 278. Let's see what the Matthews looks like here. Same arrow, 452. Two seventy nine on the first one really identical as they should be. Let's get another arrow in it just to give y'all comparison here. I'm gonna go ahead and reset that because it's timeout. Two seventy eight, two seventy nine. I mean not much of a difference at all. They're very comparable bows, um, speed wise and weight wise. Um, gonna say this one's a little bit lighter as it's built out fuller, you know, with more of a full kit, but again, that's all preference. Speed wise, we're getting around the same speed, same draw weight. Matthews was one foot per second faster. Hoyt was right there. I'm gonna call them the same speed, 278-ish. Um, really good bows. We always get asked, you know, which one's better. Y'all come shoot them, see what you think. And uh, thanks guys, thanks for watching.